really burn on there. <laughs> Somebody really did a number in here. What was this, hash browns? This is our brand new hand enameled in France cast iron skillet and it is enameled on the outside as well as on the inside. So unlike untreated cast iron, you don't have to worry about seasoning it. You don't have to worry about acidic food stripping the seasoning and it's actually a lot easier to clean and take care of. Uh, we have burned a bunch of stuff in these skillets and now I'm gonna show you how to clean them. All right, somebody made a mess, but I'm gonna clean it up. All right, this is our level one. I think somebody was making hash browns. So first I'm just gonna scrape it out. much as I can. It's really burnt out there. <laughs> Somebody really did a number in here. All right, maybe you were making breakfast, but you got back in bed and fell asleep, left your hash browns on the skillet, on the stove top. Maybe you were making dinner and you stepped away for a few minutes to check on the kids. Either way, we're just gonna try to clean this up with normal soap and water. This is level one. Scrape this out. I'm gonna take it over to the sink and use just a little soap, water, and a sponge. I'm using warm soapy water and a wooden spoon to scrape away the last bits that are stuck on here. And I'm just gonna use a non-scratch sponge to take the rest off. If you need to soak this, you can let it sit for about an hour, but you don't wanna leave it overnight. Just scraping this bit. All right, level one complete. You want to make sure you get it really dry after you clean it. But look, it's like new. All right, level two. This is a mess. I believe this was queso at one point. We have some burnt chorizo, we have some burnt cheese. This is going to take some extra oomph to get all of this off the skillet. But what I'm gonna do is fill this up with some warm soapy water and heat it over a flame. I've got my burner on about medium high. I wanna heat the warm soapy water and then I'm gonna take my spoon and try to dislodge all these bits. It looked like somebody was making queso and forgot about it during the big game. So you wanna treat your enamel cast iron kind of like your nonstick. You want to hand wash it rather than putting it in the dishwasher. You want to use silicone or wooden utensils when you're cooking with it or scraping it. And you also want to use non-scratch sponges, nothing too abrasive like steel wool or something like that to clean it. That burnt chorizo and cheese is really wafting back to me right now. I hope this was delicious the first time around, but I think somebody tried to reheat it and forgot about it. So it smells a little burnt in here. So this is simmering over medium, medium high. It really feels like all the bits are starting to loosen. So I'm just scraping it with my wooden spoon. I'm just gonna let this cool down for a moment. I don't wanna shock the pan by putting it into the sink. All right, and now I'm just gonna wash it out with warm soapy water. So I heated this up over the stove top with some warm soapy water. I washed it out at the sink, but I'm seeing a little bit of this white kind of hazy mottled finish. That's okay because I have a cleaner that I can use to finish it. This one. <laughs> so this is our ceramic cleaner and I'm just gonna put a little bit in the pan. It's a really mild, non-abrasive cleaner. So it's really just gonna polish the surface. If you don't have this, you can use a barkeeper's friend. All right, I'm gonna go rinse this off and we'll check it out. You wanna dry thoroughly right after washing? Look at that, it's just like new. All right, so now we're at level three. This pan has burnt on oil or polymerized oil stuck on the inside and the outside. 
When oil polymerizes like this, it's really being chemically bonded to the surface of the enamel. So don't give up, don't rush off to the thrift store, don't give this away. We can take care of this too. I'm gonna use my cleaner once again. Put a little bit in on the inside. And I am using some elbow grease to work this product in. And I'm using the scrubby side of my sponge. You can tell by the sponge that the oil is starting to lift off. All right, I'm gonna rinse this out and then I'm gonna work on the underside. I'm gonna lay it flat and I've got the handle off the side of the counter just to give me a nice flat surface. Again, wet sponge. See, it's working here. It's working. It's really working. You guys see what's happening here. It's happening. Just takes a little elbow grease. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, I think I'm ready to rinse. Guys, we did it. We got all three of these pans looking just like the first one. Look at that, it's like new. Never fear, no matter what you cook in it, you can always get it clean. We tried a little soap and water, we tried heating it up over the stove top, and we even tried our cleaner to get it polished, looking just like new. We're gonna be making more of these videos, so let us know in the comments. If you have any questions, if there's any products you wanna see us clean or restore, please like and subscribe. I'm Rhoda from Made In, and I'll see you next time.